Welcome back. My name is Hunter. Today, we're going to grow some crystals. So what we're going to use to grow the crystals on the skulls is borax. It is a type of detergent. Uh, you can get it at Walmart, places like that. And you're going to need a pot to boil your water in, a measuring cup, and either Pyrex, a beaker, or a glass jar. My Pyrex broke. Darn Pyrex! So it's actually pretty simple. All you're going to do is just dilute the borax into some water, suspend the skull in it, and leave it overnight. The crystals should grow six to eight hours. Um, but let's get started. I'll show you how it's done. That, my friends, is how you grow borax crystals on a skull. Okay, so the rest of this video is just answering frequently asked questions about uh, growing crystals using borax. Okay, what I've got here is three different solutions. This is three tablespoons per cup. This is half a cup of borax per cup of water. And this is one cup of borax for one cup of water. Uh, this was a recommendation from a blog. And as you can see, just barely has a couple, uh, couple crystals. There you go. And then second one is half of a cup. And one thing actually it's actually stuck on the bottom here. There we go. Uh, so this is half a cup of borax for one cup of water. Alright. And this is one cup of borax for, wow, it's really stuck in there. Uh, one cup of water. There we go. So, one cup versus half a cup of borax. About the same. This one seems a bit more clustered on there. And there is some more on the top. Um, not a huge difference, though. So I would like to say it does, just because that seems to fit with science. But from all the times doing this, uh, I pretty much get about the same result. So this one and this one were cooled down 
a room temperature, there was no insulating, no cover, and turned out pretty well. These three were cooled down at a control, so they were insulated, had covers on them. Came out pretty average, the one on the right here has some nice crystals. And then I did a third test where I stuck one in the fridge and let it uh, crystallize. And it turned out to make really small clustered crystals. So put that one in the fridge and it actually turned out pretty interesting. So give it a try yourself, but I can't see a big difference. It does not appear that leaving the skull in the solution more than overnight actually makes a difference. Now with other solutions it may, but with borax it doesn't. Uh, the crow here on the left was left in for 30 days and the chicken skull on the right was overnight and as you can see pretty about the same. Crow almost looks even a little bit smaller with less crystals. The skull on the far left is one drop of food coloring for one cup of water. The one in the middle is six drops for one cup of water. And the one on the far right is 12 drops for one cup of water. Now the uh, food coloring of the dye does not appear to actually uh, retain in the crystals itself, but it either stains the skull or just remains in the cracks of the crystals. So. The more you put in, it's not necessarily the darker the crystals are going to get uh, with borax. So I would say, depending on what you're looking for, 6 to 12 uh, works out fine. Yes, it does seem to matter what you grow the crystals in. Uh, I've tried tin cans, no success, or limited success. I've tried even a coffee cup, just doesn't do it. For whatever reason, I can't explain why, um, glass seems to be the best option. Like I said, Pyrex would be even better, but a jar will do you fine. Um, metal does seem to work pretty much just the same, it's just finding a metal container that's deep enough uh, to suspend the skull in. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Feel free to comment below and ask any questions. And remember to say please, please. sub, huh? subscribe. Huh?